Hello, people. This is Loud Styles, and this is another CUR Commentators Under Review. Now, today's commentator being reviewed today can be summed up in one specific word. What? That's right. Today's commentator is going to be SS407. Now, with that out of the way, sit back, relax, and enjoy the commentator being reviewed today. SS407, just like Rosichu and Rem Wars and Midnight Prime and a few others, start doing commentaries after they stopped doing their Sonic Sprite series. Feeling that he needed a change, he turned to, well, commentaries. And the results were... Well, they're basically this. He is one of the most influential commentators out there because every commentator always puts him, Rosichu, and a few others in the category of awesome commentators. Are they right? Well, that's up to you guys. Just like Rosichu, he has a big influence on every up-and-coming commentator out there. Almost every person that's coming up as a commentator always mentions Supersonic's name. And for good reason, because, you know, SS really does have really good commentaries. He's one of those few people who can balance out their commentary, so to speak, and I think you all know what I'm talking about. I know I say that a lot of them do balance out, but, you know, the guys that I do review on know how to balance their commentaries out. And he's one of those others that can balance their commentaries out, mixing criticism and humor. You can see that he gets it every time he does a video, and he's not missing a beat on anything. The other thing that gets me is that he's only done at least seven commentaries, and he's already up there with a lot of known, popular, recognizable, and really good commentators. That just goes to show you, the best commentators are the ones that put less videos out. Fucking YouTube superstar piece of shit. In case you're wondering, that was a joke. Just wanted to, you know, straighten that out for you guys. We now return you to your regularly scheduled review. Also, you know you're pretty damn popular when you do one thing in a commentary that everybody tries to make a little meme out of. And it's this. What? Yes, that one little clip, that one little line he did, everybody tried to make a meme out of. Often imitated, but never duplicated. Oh. And just like I always do, here are some clips from some of his commentaries that he's done so far. You know, if it was really that loud for you, and since I can't change the volume level of that one line I recorded for that commentary since, well, the commentary is already uploaded, why can't you just, oh jeez, I don't know, turn the volume down like this so that the video will sound more like this? I will be trying to. I will be trying to make. I will be trying to. I will be trying to make. I will be trying to. I will be trying to make. I will be trying to. I will be trying to make. I will be trying to make these hoes pay attention to me. I will be trying to make these hoes pay attention to me. I will be trying to make these hoes pay attention to me. I will be trying to make these hoes pay attention. I whip my hair back and forth. 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 I will be trying to. I will. I apologize for that, it's just, man, I can now see why people found this intro to be bad. Really bad. Now, where do I start with your intro? First off, may I recommend shortening your intro? A lot. I know you're trying to make your intro look cool so that people can get into your videos in general, but when your intro is basically a 57 second slideshow of your poorly done recolors, it makes the intro really boring. Recoloring over other people's characters hurts the person that made the character. And that's true, especially since you... ...kinda already stole artwork from Sonic X and then recolored it to make your own Sonic character as well. How does this make any sense? Indeed, sexiest characters. Oh god, don't tell me. Just look at that long ponytail! Now we're talking! God damn it! 
It's come to Lady Nine all over again. Would you like to shoot Kim to land this awesome edgy place on this list? Attention, duelists! My hair apparently counts as a logical explanation! All the haters, I swear they look so small from up here, because we're bigger, we're bigger. See, he doesn't care if you hate him. All the haters, they're small. Small compared to just to be was huge! Not huge as in fat, but like, huge as in like this big icon. And you're saying you're not small? Listen to yourself. This is just like what you called everybody fat, ugly, lesbian, attention horse. What gives you the right to call everybody smaller than Justin Bieber when you yourself are just as small as the rest of them? There you have it. That is Supersonic 407's mini commentaries that he's made. His channel's in the description box below if you want to go see more. Okay, time for the grading. I give Supersonic 407 an A for effort, and his overall grade will be... Hmm. This is a tough one. An A. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. I'm Loud Styles, here to tell you all that four out of five guys with bad teeth gives girls gingivitis in the vagina. Good night.